All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And now that we have basically all of our control curves created, we're ready now to go ahead and make our connections um, that we need to go ahead and make so that we can actually manipulate our rig here. Okay, and to do this, we need or, or we're going to need to have our outliner open here um, simply because there's going to be a lot of stuff that we need to go ahead and cover um, and a lot of connections that we're going to need to make here. So let me just go ahead and um, grab our outliner here. Now, this is just my personal studio outliner. Um, this is very similar, basically, to the um, my outliner here. Uh, as you can see, there really isn't much difference. Um, the only difference is, is I actually have uh, a couple extra tools here at the top. Okay, so we'll just use my studio outliner here rather than you know using the my default outliner here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start making the connections that we need here. And this is going to go ahead and be very simple. Uh, we'll run through this lesson, and then in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and uh, make the auto swim connections. Okay, so first, let's go ahead and select our left fin curve. I'm going to go ahead and double click the, the name of it. I'm going to hit Control C. This way, I can copy that name. I'm going to deselect reselect the control I'm gonna hit control G to group it okay and you can see here in the outliner that it's grouped it and I'm gonna go ahead and rename it with that CC left fin control but I'm also gonna hit space and then hit GRP so I know it's the group this way I can uh, point constrain the uh, curve to the actual joint here so if the uh, the joint moves that control curve is going to move as well so it'll always be connected to that uh, joint okay so let's go ahead and select the control curve here let's go ahead and select the joint we're going to come up here to constraint orient let's take a look at our options box here and I'm just using the default um, attributes here except for the maintain offset okay just make sure that you have that checked on go ahead and apply that and then we'll go ahead and select the joint we'll go ahead and select the control group and we'll come up here to constraint point making sure that we have that maintain offset checked on so we'll go ahead and do that so now whenever I go ahead here and actually move the joint you're gonna see that that control curve will move with the joint so we're just gonna simply repeat that process for all the fins here okay so select it double click it so we can hit control C to rename it oops make sure that we have it selected hit control G to group it we're gonna center the pivot clear the history and freeze the transformations on that group control V to group um, paste that name in there we'll go ahead and rename it with the group go ahead and select the NURBS curve the joint we'll go ahead constraint orient and then we'll select the joint select the group We'll go ahead and point. Let's just make sure that this works as well. So there you can see that that works. Let's make sure that the rotation here works. So you can see where the rotation here now works as well. Okay. We'll go ahead here and do the same thing for the right side. Just go ahead and rename this. Make sure that we copy that name. Go ahead and reselect it. We'll go ahead and hit Control G to group it. Okay. We'll go ahead and rename this to that name that we just copied and then we'll call this the group okay and then we'll set up our orient constraint here set up our point constraint to the group okay let's make sure that this works as well okay so that works let's go ahead here and do the right fin we'll go ahead and copy that name again reselect it hit control G to group it we're gonna paste that name in GRP so we know we have the group there freeze the transformation center of the pivot there as well select the control curve not the group select the joint we'll go ahead and constraint orient select the joint select the group we'll go ahead and constraint point Okay, just make sure that this works here as well. As you can see there. Okay. And we'll go ahead here and 
have those connections done okay so now we can go ahead here and uh, create a, a null group for this so I'm just gonna with nothing selected here hit control G okay I'm gonna make sure I center the pivots and clear the history for that as well we're gonna call this the CC man controls GRP main and I'm gonna take all of our fin controls here I'm gonna throw those throw those into the uh, main controls group main because I'm gonna have a attribute here on the main controller that's gonna allow us to hide that uh, manual control group okay and if we want we can go ahead and add that um, but I'm not gonna go ahead and add it for the moment okay let's go ahead and create our spline so we're gonna come up here and create our spline tool take a look at our options box here let me just move my outliner real quick and go ahead and reset this just to make sure that everything is the uh, default parameters okay so we're gonna select it from the selection joint there to the tail and it actually didn't create it there okay so I need to make sure that I select it from here to there and not the actual tail joint okay so if I go ahead and turn off our geometry I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the joints I'm also gonna go ahead and turn off the IK handles you can actually see that uh, little curve right there and I'm gonna hit F4 on my keyboard I'm gonna come up here to edit curves selection cluster curve this way it creates a uh, cluster at each point on that curve and you don't actually have to you know have the trouble of selecting each individual um, vertice and then hitting create cluster deformation cluster we can just simply do that in one fell swoop okay so I'll go ahead and bring back my IK handle go ahead and bring back my joints now before I start making the connections for the spline I want to make sure that I get all of that spline information into its own group this way I can parent that spline information to the reg so I'm gonna go ahead and hit control G to create an all group as you can see here and I'm just simply gonna call this the clusters spline okay just making sure that I freeze the transformations and center the pivot on that group as well so I'm gonna take the curve in each individual cluster here and the IK I'm gonna take that and throw it into the cluster spine so that entire um, cluster setup is inside that cluster spine group okay so now we'll select our uh, man body control there and before I do that I actually want to make sure that I test this to make sure that this is going to work so let me go ahead and throw back on my geometry okay so that deformation is um, working the way that I expect it to let me take a look here okay and if I go ahead here and select this okay so we can always um, just use a parent constraint from this one onto this one so whenever we move it um, that body is going to move at least correctly or we can go from here to here and here to here um, it, it's really up to you in terms of which ones that you want to control I don't want to control all four of them because you can see here where if I try and select this first one it actually gets a little bit troublesome so we'll select this first one you can see where that isn't necessarily reacting um, the way I would expect it to react same with the last one here so ideally I just want you know to control these two middle ones okay so uh, I think we'll go ahead and just select this one go ahead and select number three I do believe it's gonna be three yep so we'll go ahead here and hit F2 on our keyboard we'll go ahead with constraint parent okay so now whenever we move this that's gonna move select this one and we're gonna try and select the other cluster there which would be the cluster two we'll go ahead and parent that parent constraint that one okay so now we have really decent uh, manual control there okay so we can take this cluster spine group and we'll just turn the visibility here to off 
and I'm also going to go ahead and lock the uh, channel box attributes this way no, an animator can't accidentally select one of them but you since you still have the control here we're okay alrighty so now we can go ahead here and set up our uh, information for our tail control here okay so we'll go ahead and select our tail control double click the name I'm gonna hit control C to copy that name deselect and I'm gonna reselect the group or the uh, the control group it as you can see here go ahead and rename it just making sure that I hit the uh, or put in the GRP flag so that we have and know exactly um, that we do have a group there freeze the transformations and center the pivot for that group okay we'll set up our constraints here so select the curve select the joint we'll go constraint orient select the joint select the group constraint point and now let's make sure that that group works so you can see where that group now works okay and also our orient constraint works and let me just go ahead and move out here so there you can see where we have our tail moving okay and we'll go ahead and clean this up here in a little bit okay so now that we have all those in here let's go ahead and add those to um, our manual control group so we need our man body control one our man body control two our tail rotate group we'll go ahead and throw that into the um, manual controls group main we'll also throw our cluster spine into the manual controls group main okay and now we're ready to go ahead and set up our head system here so we're going to be rotating this joint which is going to be our head joint okay now to do this um, we're just basically going to use the same method here that we've been using for our fins so we'll select it we're going to hit control C to re, um, copy the name off of that deselect we'll reselect hit control G to group it okay and we'll go ahead here and paste the name in just adding that group flag select the curve go ahead here and select the joint constraint orient okay select the joint select the group we'll go ahead and hit point so now we have our point constraint set up there and we can go ahead and rotate our head there okay now I'm not going to go ahead and actually add this uh, head rotate group uh, into the manual bodies control group I'm going to leave this just underneath of the uh, global master group okay so what we want to do is I want to take this controls group main shift select the master hit P to parent that I'm going to take the head rotate group and I'm going to parent that to the global master just uh, by hitting P there okay and I'm going to hit control G here to create another null group freeze the transformations in center of the pivot here and I'm going to rename this the Tuts Fish Rig GRP. I'm going to select all three of these, put it under our Tuts Fish Rig. This way it's going to give us a little bit um, better organization here. Okay. And now we're going to be ready to go ahead and um, start adding some attributes here to our Global Master. Okay. And we're going to start off with the most simplest one and we want the uh, manual body controls here okay so I'm just going to come up here to modify add attribute I'm going to make this uh, an enumerated so it's going to be off or on off or on I'm sorry basically a boolean okay and we're going to call this the uh, tuts underscore fish reg man controls underscore viz we'll rename the green here to hidden and the blue here to uh, show 
So we'll go ahead and add that attribute as you can see here. And I'm going to go ahead and close this real quick. We'll go ahead and select this, go into our connection editor here simply by coming up to Window, General Editors, uh, Connection Editor. Let me go ahead and pull this over. We'll, with, that, with that one selected, we'll go ahead and reload the left. And we just need to simply select the manual controls group main. So it's going to be all of those. Now, you can do that individually, but I want to do that um, universally. I want to do the entire group. So with the group selected, we'll go ahead and uh, reload the right here. We'll come down here to the uh, touch fish rig manual control viz, and we're going to connect that to the visibility. So there you can see, once I do that, they get turned off. And if I come down here and hit show, you can see where they'll come back on. But you don't see the clusters. That's because I turned a, um, the clusters group completely off. Uh, and we can also, you know, if we wanted to, go ahead and lock that. Um, that's fine. It's really no big deal. So uh, there's the connections that we need for our manual control rig. I'm just going to go ahead and turn these back off here. Okay, and in the next lesson, we will go ahead and come back and set up our automatic swim control, our manual automatic swim control. So, come on back, everybody.